in a studio that's in a basement comes the epic story of how two friends changed the future of the movie podcast game forever. <laughs> the reviews are in. Boys Life magazine gives the High Sci podcast four and a half acorns. The Daily Bugle says, these guys are super legit. And Pope Francis declares the podcast as life affirming. From the kid who tried to get smart with David Spade and got fucking old. You're still out. You're still bad. And the guy who can name all four Baldwin brothers. Alec, William, Daniel, and the baby boy, Stephen. Live from the studio of his parents' basement, the Have You Seen It podcast. Welcome back to the Have You Seen a Podcast. My name is Mason Knight. Sitting across from me is the one and only Cash Krause. Cash, how you doing? Mason? Yes. Doing good. <laughs> very formal, very official. Absolutely. Uh, I'm doing good. How are yeah. you doing? Well, you know, it's another day. Another we're just, day here. We're, we're, surf- we're surf- thriving. Thriving. We're thriving. thriving. <laughs> we got to coin that phrase. We you can. Know what? I might just add that to the merch store. I'll design thriving. Yeah. What's Kevin we'll Hart going to do? <laughs> What is he going to do? <laughs> What's that little do? guy going to do? <laughs> Come on, Kevin. <laughs> we'll kick his ass. Get we can, yeah, but uh, well, he has a lot more money, a lot more resources. Oh, he does. So he could sue he us. Would, uh, he would definitely... destroy us. He would <laughs> ruin everything we've worked probably so Probably a physical now. fight would kill us also. Yes, absolutely. Would kill us also. Uh, much very, better shape. Very... Much better shape. <laughs> <laughs> very athletic, it turns Super out. athletic. Super I mean, athletic. he's got his own running shoe. So. It's true. Uh, he's got his own fitness show on YouTube. He does. I don't like Not it. Not a guy I want to mess with. <laughs> <laughs> Very powerful. But uh, yeah, we are doing an, an episode I'm excited for. This yes. is our movie news. We have not done this in what? Three been, months? Yeah, it's been a couple months. It's been a while. And this used to be a segment on our podcast that we would do yeah. at least once a month. Because we used to have movie news to talk about. Well, we used to have movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah in now, theaters and now stuff. Now it feels but... like the only news that's ever coming out is either Johnny Depp related or celebrity deaths. Right. <laughs> There's or only... coronavirus delaying films. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's only like three different uh, news stories these days. Unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. But we do have some. We do. Some of our news might be a little older, but it's just news we haven't talked about exactly. yet. But it's still, it's still, still very, relevant. very important news. We only talk about the important stuff. And that's my segue into talking about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Only the important stuff. favorite topic of all time. <laughs> Only the important stuff. Because this fucking story keeps on heating up. Dude, and I, I was saw the, the internet exploded when this verdict came out. Yes. I saw all these memes of like, support Johnny Depp. Which I love. It's like a little kid like walking yeah. Johnny Depp and like <laughs> holding, holding his hand. hand. Yeah. No, it's the... <laughs> The uh, fucking like, the Ninja Turtle yeah, the one, Ninja Turtle, yeah. where they're like, walking, they're small them. with Splinter, yep. and, and then they're old and Splinter's old. It's like we all must get behind yeah. and support Johnny Depp. It's true though. It's, it's I, I do support that. It is true. I, I absolutely um, support that. That guy did so much for kids, especially. He did. He did. I mean, he and a lot of these kids now. It's great because a lot of kids that you know, grew up with his stuff are now adults yeah. like us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we can, they actually have a voice because no one listens to kids. No, they don't. I mean, a bunch of kids come out and say they support Johnny Depp. What are you going to do about <laughs> it? Get the fuck out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't care. He's Anything. Close. That you, yeah. <laughs> but now that adults are saying it, it's great. Uh, I'm really glad that people are stepping up for Johnny Depp. Well, and I, I think people understand. I At mean, this when you point, look into <laughs> yeah. the case, you're just like, this is yeah insane. Yes, this and it gets wild. fucking crazier. So Johnny Depp, if you haven't heard, but everyone on earth yep. has heard by now, was fired yes. from uh, the new Harry Potter film, yep. uh, Crimes of Grinwald. I don't even know what the new one's he, called. He plays the Grinwald character, yes. Yeah, the Fantastic Beast. Fantastic Beast, there we go. The last one was Fantastic <laughs> Beast, Crimes of Grinwald. Ah, yeah, okay. they're shit. They're all shit. Yeah. They're not very good, which is one thing I... I it's not that big of a deal to me for mm. him to be fired from that right. because those movies were horrible. Yeah. He was probably the biggest bright spot of those films. So for them to let him go, and I don't know two movies in how they're going to recast that role. Uh, all the Colin Farrell fans are saying, please replace. Yeah, him with I'm guess because if you don't know, uh, Colin Farrell, because in Harry Potter they take they can take a potion that changes their form, mm-hmm. and he was originally played by Colin Farrell, but then he 
transforms into what he is. So they could easily, I guess, just have him do <laughs> no potion. Take it the potion and, and literally to transform into anyone. Mm-hmm. I mean, they could have him transform into some other wizard that we don't even know. I heard yeah. Mad Milkinson was uh, up for the role, possibly also. Mm-hmm. But he's I, great. But. I also remember seeing a, a uh, article. This was a few weeks before this case uh, against The Sun, the UK paper, uh, came out that said Disney is no longer pursuing uh, Johnny Depp to come back for Pirates of the Caribbean. And I looked at that case and I heard that article and I go, hmm, they must yeah. know something that someone else doesn't know. And sure enough, the verdict came out. Uh, the case, the case well, is they, closed, basically. I they, guess Johnny Depp's appealing it. Though. They fired him, I think, from uh, Fantastic Beasts before... The case was re- before, like the the suit came right. out, so but, they so they knew too, obviously yeah. that something. But because uh, of pay to play, which different, not politics, pay to play in in you know this acting world, it, for it's a star clause essentially. So Johnny Depp had shot one scene. So even though they fired him, he gets his full compensation for this film. I heard they, I they're like, I heard they're done filming this for one. I mean, I heard they shot all of his scenes already, which is wild. Yeah, but he at least. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know, but I had read he had. Well, least they're shot like one they're scene. like sixty percent done of filming, so probably all the scenes involving <laughs> well, Johnny Depp. But I've, all, I've also heard is that they uh, they were like holding off to shoot his scenes also until the. Until so the course, I've heard mixed yeah. things. Yeah, I've heard things because they're they are because we I think we talked about early on they started filming this last one uh, months ago. Yeah, and so I think. So unless they knew, I think they were, what I believe is that they were waiting for this thing to come out before they're like, but it's so stupid. The case, it was against, this is not the case against Amber Heard. No, it's this not. is the case against the, the sun, sun, the shittiest tabloid in fucking mm-hmm. the UK. Yep. It's never real news. It's, it's the thing like a farmer lady marries alien. That's like the kind of yep. headlines. Of the yep. <laughs> Well, but they called him a wife beater very early on. Headline, exactly headline, and too. he took him to. But the craziest part of that case is the judge declared that Am, what Amber Heard was saying, he believed to be true. Yes. That is why the case was was uh, went against Johnny Depp because that's that's the big part of it is that this judge believed everything that Amber Heard said. Which is bad Which for is Johnny crazy. Depp. Yeah, it, it's, it's very bad. bad for Johnny Depp. It's bad for Johnny Depp. I mean, there is physical evidence there to suggest that Amber Heard was pretty uh, psychotic as well. And there was There's a lot of obviously evidence, just a toxic relationship and she, all around. And the therapy thing came out and said that she lied about the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> so right. I don't put, put makeup on her face. You yeah, know, to pretend that she was getting punched and beaten, and it was makeup. So I pray so. to God he doesn't lose the case against her that's coming out in in, the in US. Virginia or whatever. Yes. I can't also, remember. So Next year they're going to court for that. Yeah, this case was for the UK. Obviously, it's it's kind of all said and done. Johnny Depp is appealing this case though, so we'll see what happens there. Nothing's but gonna happen. There's also a case happening in the United States as well. That's I don't the know big one. Yeah, that's yeah. the big one against Amber Heard. So we'll see what happens. It's but, before that a fucking but that let's say all this happened in 2018, the mm, Sun case. Right. So that judge really heard all that shit because she was Amber Heard was there. She spoke on the fucking podium or she whatever. She did, yeah, yeah. She testified. In 2018. Yes. But I, I I don't know. So maybe he will win the appeal after all this shit has come this out. Came out, yeah. But I mean, he's still not going to get the job back for Grindelwald. No, very and, rarely uh, do the studios go back on. <laughs> this is a James Gunn experience. It is. It is, and that's that's something I don't understand. Is like why are, why are we, you know, if you look at the evidence here, no one is just cold case. Like there isn't a massive movement to be like. Fire Johnny Depp. Everyone hates him in the United States. Everyone hates him, you know, worldwide. Yeah. Everyone looks at this case. Anyone who looks into this case knows, okay, this was extremely toxic. This was a terrible situation. No matter whose side you necessarily fall on. There was a petition signed uh, after this case had had closed in the UK. Over half a million people signed the petition to get uh, Amber Heard pulled from Aquaman 2, which I think is only fair. I mean, if production companies are going to be firing Johnny Depp now, for, for this case, court case, if you saw the evidence and, and it's right in front of your face, then fire from Aquaman yeah, too. Not even that. Be she biased. is the most bland actress in the fucking world. She's never stands out. <laughs> and this, the only thing she has going for is she is fucking drop dead beautiful. She is. But and she there's never a film that. that she takes over yeah. a scene or anything. She could be replaced. Like normally I don't like replacing actors, obviously. Mm. Because it's, you know, the runes continuity. But uh 
she could be replaced in she could be replaced in Aquaman in a fucking second. Yeah, and no one would bat an eye. No, nope. she wasn't great in Aquaman I, by any means. I, I'm serious. If had I had not known about this case or anything, and I just were to watch Aquaman too, I would have forgotten. <laughs> I, if they yeah, would have exactly. replaced her, yeah, they could have yeah. replaced her with uh, Chastain or something, and I would have been like, "Oh, okay." Well, there. I think the talk is right now is uh, Emily Clark from uh, Game of Thrones. Mm. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, so I like that. Okay. Yeah. Well, so yourself, huh? Yeah. So we, we that's get, the way to go. Yeah. So maybe maybe that, but uh, well, that's a big star. Yeah, but too. she's that's horrible. Bring more she's name not, rec- she's not great in anything. Oh, fucking Amber Heard. She's, oh, oh, yeah. She's yeah. the most plain, bland fucking actress. So, yeah, I hope they replace her. But it's Aquaman, so, I mean, who knows? Aquaman wasn't that great, so they just might just keep it going. But, yeah, so far, Johnny Depp keeps taking the hits. I just he hope he doesn't end up fucking drinking himself and then with driving fine off wines. a cliff. <laughs> yeah, with the, the, that $40,000 of wine he's yeah, spending every um, week. Yeah, yeah every whatever week. it was. Insane. Yeah. So I hope I hope we don't end up losing him because he is taking hit after hit at this point. He is, he is, and uh, we yeah we don't want a Marlon uh, Brando situation. Yeah, here. but it's the fucking it's the sun. It's a, a trash trash piece of paper. I wish he would just forget it and let it all go, but it's personal at this point. You know, it's his fucking name, and he's losing everything because of it. Mm-hmm. So that's all I got for jo- for Johnny Depp. I do. Okay, so you brought up James Gunn. Yes, I want to talk about this. It's a quick. So we're done with Johnny Depp now. We are we are done. Uh, we kept that let's segment close, under let's ten close minutes. Close the lid <laughs> on Johnny and Depp. And then we'll open it we'll back lock up next her up time. We and we'll open news. up when something fucking crazy <laughs> happens next week. Uh, but for now, James Gunn. This is pretty exciting news. I mean, for us, obviously. But uh, James Gunn offers some exciting update on Guardians of the Galaxy three. Well, James Gunn is working like someone might find another homophobic tweet <laughs> anytime. <laughs> From 2008. Yes. Yeah. He yeah. fucking, or I don't even know if it was homophobic tweet that he, was it something? It was, it, it was, was a joke I thought something, something about like babies. That. I don't know. I can't remember anyways. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? But, uh, but yeah. He's not he, allowed to make it a, a mistake. He's working like uh, at any time he could be fucking fired. Because <laughs> He's like, you know, I have made some questionable jokes in yeah. my career. <laughs> and like, they haven't found them yet, but when they get my MySpace. <laughs> Oh my My God. Yeah. It's going to be be, trouble. (laughs) They will never let me work again (laughs) on this earth. But uh, please, please go on with you. So, uh, so he tweeted out because, uh, you know, fans obviously ask him questions all the time. The question was, have you started uh, guardians of the galaxy three yet? Any kind of planning going on or is it all peacemaker for now? Uh, James Gunn replied script is written. I have this. Yeah. And most of the production heads have been hired. Yeah. He's ready to go. Yep. And, and the he, script, I guess, according to uh, Pat, Pat Casey had tweeted this, has the script changed much from the previous uh, Game of Thrones 3 script from back before things happened? I like how, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he says, no, very little. So it's still the original script. So Well, uh, I would hope not. I hope it didn't change too much. Why, unless yeah. there was like a, a mini, mini gay joke. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Yeah, it's changed I'm gonna change slightly. It just it's a little so bit. He's like, a few I took lines. A I, yeah, so I don't really understand why anything would change. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's great news. He, what Didn't uh, Suicide Squad just wrap? Aren't they? Did, I think did so. they just finish yeah. or something? Or maybe they're just, like, God, getting I can't close wait for to that. wrapping? I cannot wait for a James Gunn suicide. Yeah, but he's going, he's, he's going from one to another. Yes, he is. But, of course, you know, it's the studios that also wanted to make those very quickly. Yeah. But, yes, uh, he, I'm pretty sure he just got done with uh, Suicide Squad. So he is he's going off. Mm-hmm. Which I, I can't wait for both Suicide Squad and Thor: Love and Thunder are going to be amazing. Or not Thor: Love and Thunder, but uh, Guardians of the Guardians Galaxy. Galaxy. Yeah, Thor: Love and Thunder is going to be. It's going to be great though. too because that's yeah. that's Watiti, yeah. our fucking favorite. Yes, but yeah, James Gunn, he's working hard. As he as he, <laughs> he's, uh, he has to do it. it. I got news. Also, I got Jurassic World news. Ah, uh, yes. Jurassic World wraps unprecedented shoot. Wow. 18 month long shoot, 40,000 COVID cases. Or throw COVID cases. <laughs> <laughs> Just everyone's getting COVID, yeah. even the dinosaurs. Or well, no one. Point. Yeah, there's not 40,000 crew. <laughs> Unless one guy gets COVID and they got to bring gotta in another him. guy. And for some reason, that guy that also guy got COVID. COVID. Gone. Gone. 40,000, that's quite a bit. That's you got to shut down so that case. Something some is point, wrong. Are they shooting in Wuhan? Yeah, I don't know. 
<laughs> Ground zero of yeah, the coronavirus. What's going on? Does the director, is Kevin Toronto, just constantly have coronas giving yeah, it to every, everyone? Refuses to wear a mask. <laughs> just leaves into the actors, gives them some advice. <laughs> yeah, one more thing. <laughs> So 40,000 COVID tests done right. and millions of dollars on protocols, but it is finally, finally finished wrapping Jurassic World Dominion. Dominion. Yeah, yes. and they could say it was an emotional journey. Oh, I'm emotional sure it was. Emotional journey. Emotional. Yeah. Super emotional. Jurassic World. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Because we know how drama Are we finally going to get laser raptors? Are we finally going to get raptors with guns I know it's already wrapped. It's already them. done. But let's tone it down a little bit with the whole <laughs> Jurassic World fucking having laser beams. I feel like I'm watching Austin Powers. Yes. With the sharks and the didn't lasers. The, actually, didn't literally, didn't the last one have lasers? Yes. Oh, I was kidding Rem- about that. Yeah, I no. forgot. Remember the laser the targeting, pointer? targeting. That yeah. was it. Yes. Bro, come on. I know. How and that's why I can't get excited about Jurassic no, World Dominion. I'm not, I'm not excited at all. The only thing I'm excited like, is they're bringing back, you know, Dr. Alan Grant, fucking yeah. all the classics. They're bringing all those. So that's the one thing. But yeah, I really can't get excited about those films. I can't either because it's like dinosaurs are enough. Folks, yeah. dinosaurs are enough. We don't need laser beams on the top of these dinosaurs' heads. We don't need super predators who are like insanely smart and can literally just do calculus in front of you. Like, just, they're, they're fucking dinosaurs. They're hacking into the mainframe, yeah. yeah. Like, dinosaurs take over the world. Why is it that zombies never get so absurdly crazy? Yeah. But somehow, when it comes to dinosaurs, we gotta have these things smarter than human beings. It makes no sense. I don't know. I, dinosaurs I don't know. Dinosaurs are dinosaurs. Because, I know. Because it's a much more sci-fi element, they believe, than it... It should be, though, a much more horror element. Yes. Like, the first one was exactly. horror, very horror-inspired. Yeah. But this now they're very much more sci-fi inspired. It's so so everything's got to be like the newest technology, newest everything. Yeah. Which that's not it's how not that's the not right how the original. Route. Yeah, that's how they ruined the original trilogy. Mm-hmm. What's by going yeah, with that? Yeah. We're going that route. So yeah, lo- I, and one good thing is Kellen, Ke- Colin Trevinoff is uh, is in for this director. one. Yeah. He wasn't on for the, the last one. one. Yeah, and it showed. Yeah, I don't know how much different because I'm sure the script was the same no matter what. So. Well, I didn't like it. No, no one did. We hated it. We hated yeah. it. I haven't seen it since we reviewed it. Neither have I. It was so incredibly disappointing. <laughs> and I, I don't. It. Yeah, I do not plan on watching it. Never. But uh, yeah, that's Never again. That's my. I thought the first one was good though. But it's done. Jurassic World is done. It will be out. I mean, most likely, probably out next summer. Yeah, like tw- no, I'm thinking 2022. That's what uh, I'm guessing. If if COVID doesn't stop yeah. it, I would say I would say it's going to be out 2020 summer, but it's very possible COVID's going to stop it. Yeah. So uh, we finally know when Tenant's coming home or coming to uh, video oh. on demand. So you know, obviously um, Christopher Nolan had to defend, which I don't know why he would have to defend this, because obviously you know Tenant didn't do great in theaters. I couldn't imagine why. <laughs> hmm, I have no idea. Had nothing to do with the film. No. <laughs> no, no. It had to do with uh, COVID, obviously. The COVID. But uh, apparently he had to come out and defend that, which is ridiculous. Obviously, everyone should know that by now. But uh, Tenet is coming uh, video on demand just in time for Christmas, December 15th. Mm. That makes sense. Yep. That's a, I think that's a good, a good call. It's a perfect time. People at this point just need to see it. And to be honest, just they're not going to so see it in theaters. Yeah. But you need to go see it in theaters. I know. Problem Everyone is, else can go see it. I, I, I work a swing shift, man. Yeah, and they so have I, no yeah. movies in the morning right now because that's when all the old people went. And old people aren't going to movies anymore. Well, they're all dead. <laughs> they are all dead. <laughs> they don't have we, to do uh, early they, mornings they anymore. <laughs> they don't. But all theaters are like 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. And I work during Yeah. The well, you got to go on a weekend. Yeah. You got to go on a Sunday or something. Like, they, they have, like, 3 o'clock or something you could do on a Sunday and get it done kind of early. Yeah, I have podcasts on Sunday, too, though, so it's like, fuck. Yeah, well, you got to find fucking time, man. Well, it's it's, it's, it's There's one movie know, out right now. Movie. You can't <laughs> find two <laughs> hours. <laughs> I don't believe you're doing pop get, podcasts 12 hours a day. No, I'm not. I'm not. No. But, uh, but yeah, it's it's definitely worth seeing in theaters. It's, it sucks that people would have to go and see that for the first time at home. Because imagine seeing Interstellar at your house, at house and not being able to go time, see yeah. it in the theater. It would just not would be suck. as great. Yeah, not yeah. be as great. But uh, I have very excited for me. Oh, I got Mad Max news. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <Lee. laughs> yeah, I got Mad Max news. They are confirming Mad Max spinoff. Furiosa is in the works right now. Sweet. George Miller dusted himself off. He's like 98 years old. He's very, old. He's very old. 
Said last time he'd never do another Mad Max film. Well, said before yeah. that he'd never, never do. say never. <laughs> but he is back. Furiosa. It is not starring um, Charlize Theron. No, what? Yeah, cool. It's a prequel. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But you'll, I think you'll like this because I think we're pretty big fans of her. But playing uh, Furiosa in this one, Anna Taylor Joy. I love very that casting. great actress. She's a great actress. And I have not seen the show, but Queen's Ga- Gambit is getting like all the hype right now on Netflix. I know, which it's like a chess player or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'd, but it's it's not a true story. I don't really like those things yeah. when they're like not true stories. Mm-hmm. I'd rather hear a s- true story about a female, a real that's not just right. completely fiction. Yeah. I, first, I don't think anyone else is bothered by that kind of thing. But every time I see kind of that thing, I, I want it to be a true story. I was surprised to find out it's one hundred percent fiction. <laughs> a girl could never really play chess. Yeah. <laughs> Back then, probably not, <laughs> unfortunately. But uh, yeah, Anna Taylor Joy and George Miller is directing. Chris Hemsworth confirmed, hopefully playing a bad guy. We love Chris. Hemsworth. Hopefully playing yeah, a bad guy. That would be fit with his like Thor voice. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he's playing a young. Uh, what the fuck was a uh, Morton Joe mm. from the from the last yeah. one? That'd be fucking cool. But uh, and Yahya Abdul Mateen II, the second. Who is <laughs> Gotta again, remember the second. Again, I think that's a name that a lot of people are gonna be recognizing. He was supposed to be in the new Candyman that got delayed. Yeah. He was he played Black Manta mm-hmm. and uh Aquaman. Which I can't wait. Hopefully we see more of him in Aquaman too. Because Black Manta is a huge character. Oh, and we just Aquaman saw him in uh books. in the movie with Sasha Baron yes. Cohen. Uh the trial of the Chicago Seven. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the, the guy he played, the real guy who, who got screwed. But he was, uh, I can't remember. We're not going to remember. Yes, it. I will. <laughs> but, Just go ahead. Uh, yeah. Continue on. But yeah, he's he's fucking great. He's going to be in a phenomenal. I mean, he yep. is already a phenomenal actor. But he was he was set to have a huge year this year with Candyman coming out, and fortunately got delayed. So his stardom has to wait a little longer. But Mad Max, I mean, that's going to really fucking set him up. But yeah, so that is in the works, and they are long for the ride. But who knows? Those films always have trouble getting made. Yeah, and not only that, but it'll probably be a two and a half year production, dude. Yeah. We're not going to get that till like twenty twenty three. Yeah, a Easy. long time. Yeah, I mean, someone's got to protect George Miller yeah. at all costs. You see how far Dune got pushed back? Oh, I know, like a full year. I don't even want to talk so about it. Like, uh, but the one the good thing about that is now everyone has time to read Dune. Dune. They got another year. And it's yeah. going to take you about a year. I purchased it on Audible and have not listened to it It's going to take yet, you a year. So. You might need to do a reread right <laughs> after you do the first read. But, uh, yeah, that's good news. Good news for Mad Max. It's all about the future right now. Yep. We can't look forward to right now. No. But we can look forward to all these great things coming out. Hopefully we get a vaccine from Pfizer in the spring. That's what it's looking like. And then we can go back to normal. Yeah, but we won't get the fucking vaccine. I mean, it, Well, 100 million doses by spring is what they're hoping. Yeah, I know, but they're going to give it. We still won't. Yeah, 100 million doses. Is that worldly? (laughs) No, the United States. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But still, we won't. Which is one third. Yeah, but still, we won't. They said military first. Yep. And then every and then everyone, high risk people. Yeah. So we still we will be the last people to get it because we're I know. damn healthy. I know. I wish I wasn't. Well, you know I'm I glad I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Good attempt. Yeah. Uh, so uh, <coughs> we love this director. Might be our favorite director of all time. Whoa. Uh, Michael Bay. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> I knew you were going to say something oh, that yeah. wasn't serious after that. And the Bay him that is going to ensue. He has found his next big film. <laughs> now, he just did Underground I, Six with Ryan Reynolds, right? They're yeah, done and, filming and I that saw or whatever. Him, he's producing something else, too, that looked really stupid. But, yes. So, this is a, a 90s-style film that he saw the screenplay and flipped out over. This film is called Ambulance, and he's trying to get Jake Gyllenhaal to, sti- uh, to star in it right oh now. Oh, my God. Could he get Jake Gyllenhaal? I don't know. Maybe Maybe. Michael Bay could get Jake Maybe. The script is good enough. Anyone would do it. Exactly. But, uh, you know, Pain and Gain wasn't that bad for a Michael Bay film. The film with uh, The Rock Mm -hmm. and uh, Marky Mark, that wasn't that bad, but he's horrible. He is horrible. And his production company, Platinum Dunes, they were the ones responsible for, like, the Freddy remake and the Friday the 13th remake and all the shittiest remakes. He is just um, an amalgam. You know, how he keeps getting work is just... I mean, I know he does because his films make a shit ton of money. Mm. <laughs> but they're just... I, I got to be honest with you, though, and we're reacting to it soon. I'm very curious to see how the songbird's going to be. 
that that's COVID the film I was, that's yeah. the film I was just thinking of. I'm yeah. like, I knew he was, but he didn't direct that. He produced it, right? Right. Yeah. Well, I don't think he directed it. No. No. But uh, yeah. But nonetheless, I am excited to see that. <laughs> I don't know if exciting's the word for me. I am. I guess I'm interested. Let's talk about. I got big news. You'll love this. Yes. You will love this because it's it's Justice League news. Oh, and you got fun. It. yeah. Justice Yay. League. This is, is this a real. Snyder cut. Of course. Of course. I don't think they're coming out with another it Justice is going League. To be, yeah. Well, yeah, true. Well, unless you were to announce it here that there <laughs> that'd was be a big, Justice League too. That would be a big announcement. But uh, reshoots will bring Jared Leto's Joker into Zack Snyder's new Justice League film. Okay, I thought it was going to be like... Oh, it's good. Oh, no. Oh, you don't love that? <laughs> you know, oh, that's not giving you high hopes? No. Oh, I'm no. so surprised. I, uh, I'm so I, shocked. That I you think don't... Jared Leto is a great actor. Don't get me wrong. But... Not my favorite Joker. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, so this is this is just making that Justice League film sound so so much better. Much better. Yes. Remember how I was mocked and berated for I saying do. this. Justice, I do. This Justice now, League film was just not going to be just because the Joker is brought into this yeah. film does not make it a bad film. Because every film that he's been in as the Joker has been it's been phenomenal. Great film. Phenomenal. They've all been Suicide Oscar Squad? intended. <laughs> oh, Best baby. film of 2018 or yep. 17 or 16, whenever it came out. So. Very good. He was very right. good in that. I think he was in, was he in the start of, uh, he was in the start of Batman vs. Superman as well. The very start, Batman's chasing him. If you don't remember, like the first five minutes. Really? Yeah, he's in the Lamborghini. Uh, oh, oh, that's right. You don't remember that either. Oh, that was a great film as it was well. an awesome film. So he's... Yes. So let's make this three for three, Jared well, Leto. Catch, let's do so let's, this right. We made a bet about a year ago on the over-under on, what, 70%? Yes. Yes, I think, I think it was. We did. Which is an I got to go back and find that. I would give you like eight to one odds, probably. <laughs> wow. But yeah, he is, he is in for reshoots. He will bring his phenomenal performance right back. Zach to Snyder. the big screen. <laughs> the big screen. <laughs> or video on demand, whatever they so yep. choose. And the first line of this article is, we thought we had seen the last of Jared Leto's <laughs> take on the Joker. That's never a great way but to start But TRJ is reporting today that Leto will be reprising his Suicide Squad role for Zack Snyder's Justice League. There you go, Mason. That that well, bet gets a little better and better every day for me. For you. <laughs> yeah, for you. Not so much for me. I mean, Who else could they put in this movie that, that could just fucking ruin it? Why not it? just uh, uh, hire Joaquin Phoenix? Because he would never do it. That's why. Yeah, true. Yeah, well, I'm sure. Jared Leto's sure, like, yeah, I'll I'm play sure Joker every again. person that's ever tried to make a movie has said, "Why don't we just hire Joaquin?" <laughs> yeah, like, it's not that easy, folks. <laughs> trust me, we can't even get a hold of the trust guy. Me, we try. Yeah, we can't even find him. But uh, yeah, so big news. I do have Joaquin Phoenix news though. If you want to hear about yes, that, yes, I do. He is being eyed for a Ridley Scott epic, a Napoleon Bonaparte okay. film that Joaquin Phoenix is a. Uh, is set to uh, to star in as Little Napoleon, which is it's just strange because he seems like he's a little taller. Yeah, although I heard Napoleon man. is not that was not <laughs> that as short actually. But yeah, Ridley Scott eyes another epic. Joaquin Phoenix as Napoleon and Kit Bag as director wraps the last duel, which is another okay. uh, history. But Ridley Scott he doesn't have great history with doing. Um, epics like uh historical was it, epics you yeah mean? what was it like the last kingdom yep that was kind of the bombed. last kingdom with uh orlando bloom yes you know when i was a kid i enjoyed that film quite well here's the thing about that film the director's cut is night and day from the three theatrical cut theatrical really? cut fucking sucks it makes zero sense they cut so much shit out of it but if you go watch the director's See, I cut it's the a two dvd one you yeah. had to put in two DVDs to complete the film. It's probably so the director's. It's probably the director's, probably the director's then. Yeah. It's it's much longer, but it is much much better. It's a coherent story. Mm -hmm. if you watch the theatrical. It, You're like, what the it makes no sense? Yeah. It's like what the hell? It going had to on? have been the director's cut because I remember yeah. this film being like three and a and half it, hours. And that film is without. Long. Yeah, that film got really really bad rep, but that film is without a doubt Orlando Bloom's best movie. Mm. I mean, he hasn't been in, he never really stands out to me, but it, that is his best film. But yeah, I'm excited. There has not been a good Napoleon film. Forever, yeah. I mean, for a very long time. But so I'm excited for that. Ridley Scott, if it can be Gladiator, if it can be that kind of quality, mm -hmm. 
then it's amazing. Yeah. But uh, all he wants to do is historical shit these days. I want to talk about this. Uh, you know, Idris Alba was obviously my number one pick for the replacement of Daniel Craig in uh, 007. Doesn't look like it's going to be the case. But I'm seeing, I'm seeing these fan art images out, <laughs> out of uh, Henry Cavill as the next James Bond. Yeah. And I got to be honest with you, I like that casting a lot. I liked him a lot. In I Ma- like Henry Cavill a lot. I thought he did great in Mission Impossible. As well. I think I liked him a lot in The Man from Uncle. I wish they would come out with a sequel. I've not seen that. Oh, it's good. It's it's really good. But I think he plays a much more down to earth kind of spy. Mm-hmm. I can't see him. I can't really see him as Johnny as uh, James, James Bond. Bond yeah, because James Bond is a much more you know proper Eccentric. kind of <laughs> one percenter yeah. kind of spy. You know, yeah, exactly. But uh, I love Henry Cavill. And also, Henry Cavill would be the fucking, the, like, the biggest James Bond. Yeah, ever. ever. He would have to lose weight, I'm pretty sure. He would have to drop down. <laughs> like, like, we're going to have to get you a little less like James muscular. Bond, he's not a bodybuilder. He's a, he's a spy. He doesn't have time to lift weights. Oh, so it's running around the universe. Yes. Are you going to weight lift on your private jet? Yeah, exactly. So uh, so I could see. I'd rather have Idris Alba, though. Yeah. If, if you gave me the choice, I'd rather have Idris Alba. I have one more piece of news. And this is going to sound... Well, first I'll just redo the headline. Leonardo DiCaprio, Mary Str- Meryl Streep, Jonah Hill, Timothy Chalamet, Ariana Grande, um, Jennifer Lawrence all join the new Netflix film Don't Look Up from director Adam McKay. Let me redo that list again. Leonardo DiCaprio, Meryl Streep, Jonah Hill, Timothy Chalamet, Ariana Grande. I don't know where that's thrown in. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence. Maybe a singing cameo yeah. or something. Maybe <laughs> but you would like think dance by this disco. fucking cast that this was the last film going to be made on Earth. Right. That is fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Are you? What is it about? What is Don't Look Up about? I, I don't know. It's it's Adam McKay. And, you know, Adam McKay is known yeah. for doing like Step Brother. But recently mm-hmm. he's done all those serious films. I wonder if so it's, it's going to uh, be serious. It's not, I don't, don't believe it's going to be a be comedy. Because Don't Look Up sounds like a comedy. Doesn't it? I don't. Don't look up. Yeah, but it that is one of the biggest fucking lineup of A list actors you will see in a uh, fucking yeah. film, and that's a film that you think would be impossible to screw up. But oh, no. it's a dark comedy. Yeah, but his last film about what was his last film about the stock market? That was a dark comedy. Yeah. Oh, oh, and his film about uh, Dick Cheney that was a dark comedy too. Yeah, but Spice. both those films are more. Uh, drama i think than dark comedy but yeah that's a that's a hot lineup that is i like kid cuddy's gonna be in it kid <laughs> Cuddy, matthew the perry man himself there's everyone is gonna be in this fucking uh the film follows two low-level astronomers who embark on a media tour to warn mankind of an approaching asteroid that will destroy earth so it does sound like a dark yeah. comedy but uh yeah that sounds good how the fuck do you get Leonardo DiCaprio to now? do a film like that? The script must be <laughs> phenomenal. I'm guessing all those got to be like cameos. Yeah. And then the two main guys will be like no one you've ever heard of. But uh, that's a huge lineup. That's a huge lineup. Yeah, who, who knows? And it's going straight to Netflix. Huh? Netflix film. Oh, my God. You know how much money they probably paid for this film? <laughs> $100 million at least to pay for all that casting? It, it must be a phenomenal script, though, Yeah, to get all it those fucking guys. And you're getting Leonardo DiCaprio and Jonah Hill. Uh, you haven't seen them back yeah, since, since Wolf, Wolf Wall, Wall Street. Street. They were the great. Scorsese. They're like yeah. best friends too. So, so that's pretty cool. You ever see that picture of them? It's so funny. Uh, With, where where Jonah he scares Hill, him? Yeah, he scares him because yeah, he thinks he's a fan, and <laughs> Leo's like, oh. Fuck. I have to deal with this every no, day. No, it's my Leo life. who does it to Jonah. Or to Jonah, that's right. <laughs> yes. <isn't> <laughs> Leo comes up with his camera and it's like in his face. So yeah. it's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, great relationship. It must be fun. I feel to be like. really rich. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and. And be able to just <laughs> with your have celebrity fan, yeah, yeah. Your friends. If I did that to Jonah Hill, the cops would be called. Oh, he, he, and I'd get the shit beat out right of me. away. Yeah, I don't. Jonah Jonah Hill to me does not appear like the kind of guy <laughs> who likes fans at all. Yeah, which is, like who just is annoyed by that. Yeah, today Jonah Hill doesn't seem super yeah. bad. Jonah Hill seemed to me, he would but now he's like, much yeah, more but, serious right. and he doesn't like that, which yeah. is ridiculous to me. But. I do want to see mid nineties though. I have yet to see. Oh, that. I saw it. Was it good? Yeah, he directs it. He's not in it, but he directs well, yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's great. Do you have any more news for us, Mason? Uh, I do. I got a quick one. Uh, John Krasinski's A oh, Quiet Place already getting a spinoff despite the sequel's delay. So, Is the spinoff going to come out before the sequel? No. Oh. The spinoff is set to be uh, developed in 2021. 
What can a spinoff be? Just another story it's of just a family? In the world, yeah. I guess it's just in the world. I guess it's going to be a, a world-building uh, spinoff. So it's eyeing right now for 2022 to come out, but it'll start production in 2021. Well, I was hoping the sequel was going to be more of a world-building. You would hope, but uh, <laughs> so apparently I'm, not. I mean, surprised, some... yeah. Well, because this... Uh, man, I almost forgot about that fucking film. Yeah. Because we seen the, didn't we react to the trailer well, two years ago? Well, and it's supposed to come ago? out in March. Yeah. I mean, think about that. Which is kind of like, weird because I, I would think there'd be a spinoff. It'd be like a prequel and showing. But the sequel looked like it was heavily involved in like showing how it all got started. Right. Yeah, it was like a sequel prequel. Yeah, exactly. So I'm kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of worried about that. But he's great. I hope he directs it. Yeah. And I have one more piece of news. You know you know me. I love to end uh, movie news on a downer. We must obviously talk about the passing of Alex, Alex Trebek. Yeah, the, we can talk uh, about a few, host. yeah. Uh, he, he is set to have his last cameo appearance in Ryan Reynolds' film, Free Guy. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, no, Alex. Why is that going to be the last thing we remember you from? You know, I, I do have to say, though, in all seriousness, like watching his interviews and talking about, you know, going through chemo as many times as he has. <clears throat> God, I got this thing in my throat. Yeah, Maybe it's me just getting choked up. But, uh, yeah, I know you're a huge extra back I actually was. He's I a, watched Jeopardy every day with my grandma for years. Well, everyone is. Yeah. Everyone grew up with well, Alex well, yeah, I, it, I yeah. mean, it's a, it's a staple for sure, and he is fucking great. And he was very, very upbeat yes, he for was. being diagnosed with stage yeah. four pancreatic cancer. And had a very uh, beautiful way of looking at life, too. But a, a much better thing than the fucking Ryan Reynolds cameo is he has, I think, 30 more episodes of Jeopardy. Already filmed. Oh, wow. So there's yeah. going to be um, 30 more episodes that we can go whack, watch and see him. You know, but yeah, he's he's fucking great. And the interviews with him, he's so damn funny. Yes. He's hilarious. Yeah, yes. You don't even realize that. Even towards the tail end. But of his I life, loved, yeah. even though he's so funny, he kept Jeopardy very serious. And that's, that's why right. it worked so well because he it was very, very serious. But he did a ton of cameos. He did voice acting for Family Guy, mm -hmm. he was in Simpsons. Yep. He was a guy that was not afraid to make fun of himself, right. which is also very awesome. Because all those SNL skits we got with Will Ferrell <laughs> yeah. and Sean, Sean Connery. We can talk about that, too. Yeah. Uh, Sean Connery passed. Passed as well. Yeah. yeah. Which, okay, I'm dead serious. As soon as I saw that, right? I remember telling my dad, and my dad didn't know who Sean Connery was. But what? Like, <laughs> How is that even possible? Dude, trust me. It's just one Yeah, of but even things. if you've never seen a film before. He doesn't know the name. If I show him the face, he'd be like, oh, I know who that is. But he doesn't know names. And he's like, who's that? And I go... He died. Everyone's going to resurface the video of him saying that he slapped women or has slapped women. I haven't seen him very much. But, oh my, dude, Twitter blew up with that. Oh, I'm like, not on good. Twitter. I'm glad he's dead. And I'm like. Yeah, I don't go on guys, Twitter. Guys, come on. Like, fuck. He made, he, you know, yeah, he had some questionable thinkings, but that doesn't mean he's an evil human being and that you should be glad that he's dead. Like, Well, you can separate the art from the artist. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. He did have no problem giving an open ham slap to a woman. Well, <laughs> he had you know. zero, zero problem doing that. He made it very clear. And then yes, Hollywood was kind of, okay, we think okay. you had your run. <laughs> yeah, well, it's so funny in that interview, too, because he, like, doubled down. And I think yeah, and the, lady the, was the lady like, was like, well, she was trying uh, to help him out. Yeah, she was like, throwing him a bone. Like, <laughs> I think you meant to say. He's like, no, no, no. I do not say. Every it, once in a while, you give a woman a good open hand slap. Otherwise, you just won't shut up. And then they're like, like, oh, okay. we're pretty much done with you at this point. Uh, let's Connor. cut the feed. Yeah. We're good. And he hasn't uh, done a film in 20 years. No, he hasn't. He retired. But uh, you can't deny. You could say that absolutely. Maybe he was a domestic abuse. <laughs> right. You would say he had his problems. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But you cannot deny that he did he was not do some phenomenal, phenomenal well films. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was a big one. And iconic as far as, like, James Bond, too. Yeah, that was, that was a big one. Yeah. Uh, and iconic for turning down Lord of the Rings. He yeah. turned around Gandalf the Grey. Said he wild. didn't understand the script. <laughs> Which <laughs> is understandable when you know who Sean Connery it's a very is. Very funny Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> Said he's a wizard. Wizard. What the hell is a hobbit? <laughs> One of, them, one of them little people. I don't know. I can't. No. It reminds me of Alec Guinness with uh, Obi Wan oh, hated Kenobi. It. Yeah. Hated it. It's reminds me of the same thing with Sean but at Connery. Least he and did it. Yeah, I know. You know, he hated it. <laughs> space wizards. Jedi, space, space wizards. wizards. <laughs> what the fuck is this? But sure, you're gonna pay me. This. Yeah, exactly. Why can't Sean Connery have done that? <laughs> because he has morals. <laughs> no, he did not have no, morals. Because not. the next year he did. Uh, 
what is it called? Something gentleman? <laughs> that one? The, oh, the, the yeah. Superhero the Magnificent one. Gentleman? No, or no, what is it called? It's the, not uh, The Magnificent Gentleman. Oh, I actually God. loved it as a kid. Yes. Loved it, but you could watch it today and it is horrible. No, that it's, still holds up. It's no, it does not. No, film. it does not. I love it. And he, he even I said. I watched that film he's a like, few years ago. I read that too. script, didn't understand it at the all. Extraordinary Gentleman? Extraordinary Gentleman. gentleman that's is that what it is? It, yeah, it's, okay. it's a comic book too. It was a. But he, he's quoted for saying, he's like, I didn't understand that script at all, too. But I didn't want him to screw up and do another Lord of the Rings. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He said he didn't want to uh, fuck up and do and, then, and be known for turning down another huge role. So he said yes. But I, I don't even think he read the script for that film. Probably not, no. <laughs> it ended up bombing. Oh. Yeah. I'm glad he didn't say no to Lord of the Rings, though, because you couldn't replace Ian McKellen. No. Absolutely not. I can imagine fucking Gandalf being this grumpy ass yes. fucking Sean, yeah. Scottish wizard because you know he's not doing a different accent. No, but uh, yeah, we had we've had some big, uh, some big fucking Phil uh, Regis Philbin died. I don't know if we talked yep. about that. Oh yeah, that was a little while ago as well. Yeah, who wants to be a millionaire again? One yeah, of those grew things up that it. I grew it's up with. It's all those things it. you grew up with. Yeah. They always replay those. Sh- Whenever you stay home from school, they fucking replay all those game shows yeah, during the day. Do. So every time you would stay home from school, I would watch that and fucking Price is Right and shit. Yeah. But yeah, some big deaths, and we love to end it on a big death. Absolutely. So uh, that's the episode. That's our movie news uh, recap. If you guys like what you've seen here and you're watching on YouTube, please be sure to like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day. Check out our podcast on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. Check out our social media pages. Have you seen it? Podcast. And go check out our merch store, too. Maybe buy a sweatshirt, buy a t-shirt, you know? Yeah. Get some high sign merch. So, Getting uh, cold out there. Yeah. Yes, it is. Bundle yes, up. Yes, it is. Uh, my name is Mason Knight. That is Cash Krause. Until next time. Bye.